So does Gary Vee's $1.80 strategy work for Instagram growth today? Find out in this video. So I've been using Gary Vee's $1.80 strategy before and it actually does work. Now what it does, it helps you build engagement, helps you build relationships and overall increase your Instagram growth really, really fast. So number one, the way it works is you need to find the top 10 hashtags in your niche or in a similar niche that relates to your brand or business and you wanna look at the top nine posts. So when you're on Instagram and you see on the explore page, the top nine posts in the grid, you want to click on those posts. Then what you wanna do is you wanna quickly scan through the profile, look at the person's dislikes and likes and their character and how they are. And then what you wanna do, you wanna click, go to that post and leave a comment and this is where you leave your two cents. So the key is not to just leave an emoji or a that's nice or that's cool. You wanna leave a meaningful comment. So try and add value by you know leaving a tip or maybe asking a question or just engaging in, with them in, in conversation on the comment. And then what you do is you do that for all the other nine posts in that hashtag. And then you pretty much repeat that process over and over again on all the other top 10 hashtags. And once you do that, you'll end up with the $1.80 strategy. So pretty much that's the basics of it. It's pretty simple. It does take a bit of time and getting used to on doing that every day. But if you do that every day, the top 10 hashtags, the top nine posts and leaving your two cents, you're actually going to grow and you're going to win. Always focus on value, being authentic and transparent and building meaningful relationships because every connection is great on social media. At the end of the day, it's social media. So you need to build those relationships on Instagram. So this is the $1.80 strategy. So I want to share with you this cool tool that I use to actually get to between five and 10K followers on Instagram. And it was really easy to set up and use. And the tool is called Dollar. 80. That's right, it's pretty much the same name as the strategy. It's called $1.80 and yes, this video is sponsored by them, but I actually use it and I do recommend it. So I'm going to quickly show you a breakdown of what it is, how you can use it and how you can use it to grow your Instagram. So number one, it's not a bot or it's not an automated thing um, by AI. What it does, it helps you speed up the process of actually commenting on the post by already having all those hashtags ready for you. And all you have to do is set your targets, which is a hashtag, and then you go to that post and all the top nine posts will pop up in your dashboard. And then what you can do, you can log in on your computer. It's a simple Google extension. So I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to use $1.80 so you can start using to grow your Instagram and we'll break down the steps in a simple minute or two. So the website is $80.com and you'll get this website, it's really, really cool. So you can click login to login and connect your Instagram account. Very easy sign up process. It honestly takes less than five minutes. They've also got a support network so you can click on the support and the blog and it should take you there. And they've got plenty of articles to help you out if you get stuck. You can see also the blog here, which is really cool. So that's super handy. They also have a Chrome extension. So if you're on Google Chrome, you can see on the top right, I got this love heart uh, with the blue color, their brand color, you can see it tracks my progress throughout the day. And from here, I can literally click posts or my activity and it will take me to that page whenever I'm on a laptop or a desktop to start to get to work. So. Here's the dashboard on the back end. And the first thing you wanna notice is the dashboard is on the left hand side. So we've got a few menus here. So this menu is the post. This is where I can see all my posts, where I wanna put my comments. If I click down to targets, this is how I set my hashtag targets. So I wanna search for the top hashtags in my niche as I was talking about the $1.80 strategy. And I'll, because I'm in the design space, I wanna search a design hashtag. So I'm gonna click on the search bar put the hashtag and type in branding. What's gonna happen is it's gonna pop up with some different options here of different things. So they got like branding tips, identity branding agency. So a lot of these are really, really cool. I can click maybe branding studio down here, 100,000 um, followers or, or people on that hashtag. So I'm gonna click that. And what happens is it will add that hashtag to the target. I can add so many different multiple ones. So if I type in logo, I'll tap, um, you know, uh, let's see, let's see, logo designs, that would be cool. I can put graphic design and see what happens. Graphic design daily, that's cool. So what happens, it adds all these hashtags to my hashtag queue. And what I can do, I can bring the hand up and drop it to move these hashtags if I wanna move it around, as you can see like that. I can also get rid of a hashtag by clicking the little X and it should delete that hashtag. So I'll click the X and it will delete it. I can also add locations as well, the same way I would do for um, this normal hashtag, but I'll just leave that for now. So I'm gonna go back to my post section on the top left, and you can see now these new hashtags 
that I added are right here. So one thing that you can notice is you can actually search by the top posts or the most recent posts. So you can see if I put my mouse over it, you can see two days, two days, seven days ago, and you can see the comments the and the likes. So if I want to change this, I go to the top right corner on this little gray box. You can see this little clock. I can click that and it's going to change all the posts to the most recent. So if I put my mouse over it now, you'll see one minute ago, four minutes ago, um, seven minutes ago, and there's all these different ones that are most recent. So you can always switch back and forth between that. And if you want to search by location, you can go to the other gray box and click the little location tab. And I can switch to Sydney, Surrey Hills and Melbourne, as you can see there. I'm just going to switch it back real quick. And we're going to click on the hashtag. So I'm just going to use the top post and the hashtag. And what I'm going to do is go through each hashtag and comment on every single post. If you don't like the post, you can always click on it. And then what you do is you can use the left and arrow, right arrow keys to go through each one and leave a comment. So I'm going to find something here that I like. So I'm going to click on this like poster design here. This looks really cool. I can see the person's profile, the recent post, the amount of followers, who's following and recent comments. All these orange comments on the right side are all my previous comments that I posted on another post. But I'm going to leave a, po a comment on this post. So you want to leave your two cents as we talked about. So I'm going to say amazing design. Really love the colors. They pop. Reminds me of the 90s, right? I can say, um, where do you get your inspiration? I love, I love the minimalistic approach. So I'm always leaving my two cents. I'm adding value. I'm asking questions. I'm engaging in the conversation. And then once I do that, I click post and it will queue out that comment within the next 10 minutes. And the cool thing is it's automated. It's not bots. And what happens is it prevents you from getting blocked or banned because it doesn't post all the comments at once. It will sort of space it out a little bit and it makes it really easy to do it all in one go, one platform without even going to Instagram. It's that simple. So I can go to another post, how to earn your, uh, in your sleep as a designer. I can click on the arrows to see his carousel. So this one's a carousel. That's really cool. And then, so I'll read through it, look at one of the tips. I'm like, that's, um, that's great. I create courses as well. And I think it's the best way to generate income. Um, great post. Um, what, what are some other income uh, methods you use? And then I can click post. I can also click the like button here on the little like as well. And I can click this one and that should follow them. So I click post. And then if I go to the bottom and click this little button here, it should take me to that post in Instagram and show me my comments. So if I go down and you'll see in a few moments, it literally posted my comment there, which is really, really cool. So that's amazing, super handy, super useful. I can click off it to get out of it and I can always change my targets. So I can go back and change my targets if I want. If I want to mix my strategy around, um, it's going to be super awesome. Another cool thing is that it has leaderboards. So if I go to the bottom left, I can click leaderboards and it shows me the highest achievers, the people within the 24 hours who are using $1.80 and also the highest growth. So on, on the right hand side, you can see uh, I'm coming second, which is pretty cool. It just creates some motivation, inspiration to help you push forward every day to get as many posts as you can. I can click on activity on the left hand side as well to show all my Instagram stats at the top. It shows me my today's stats, how many likes I gave, how many comments I put, the engagement rate, and it gives you some um, analytics here in the dashboard, which I think are super awesome. So that's really nice as well. And then they also have 10, some little badges. So you got like 10 likes, three days, uh, seven days, the, the lighty strategy, like all your stats for the week and the day. It just makes you motivated to do more. I can also click on history to look at my history, um, my recent posts, if I want to check those out. So that's pretty much how you use that. You can also track your progress by the top bar here. And also when you click on the Chrome extension, your progress will be in that panel as well. So you can always make sure that you're tracking your progress and seeing how much you've done in one day. I prefer doing it in one sitting for an hour to sit down and do it all in one go. 
it helps you just get it out of the, the uh, out of the way for the day. Um, but if you do it every day, you're gonna be commenting on thousands of, of profiles and you're gonna get a lot more eyeballs into your content. So pretty much that's all the features and how you use $1.80. Make sure you're always commenting on the posts, leaving value and just leaving a genuine comment on and that's helpful. So if you keep doing this every day, you're gonna grow a lot faster. So thanks guys for watching. Remember, if you want a 50% coupon, it will be in the description. Just type in Jeremy Mira if you want, if you and you can sign up to get 50% off your first month to test it out yourself and see how it can work for you to really just boost your engagement and grow your Instagram because it actually does work. And I used it when I was first starting out on Instagram and it built that momentum up, um, which is really, really cool. So thanks so much for watching guys. And thanks to $1.80 for sponsoring this video. If you guys want more, more branding and design content every week, make sure to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in the next one.